I am um, almost a two-year survivor, diagnosed in October of 2010, and um, I think the most important thing to me about my diagnosis was when I finally did get to meet with a plastic surgeon. Um, I, I've, when you're diagnosed, it was automatically rush, rush, what do we have to do to stop the spread or to stop the cancer, get it out. But for me, I really wish I would have met with a plastic surgeon before any of the other doctors. Um, the, the general surgeon was ready to just get it out of there. I did have to go through preoperative chemo. So chemotherapy was first, and my oncologist was very, very positive and was very helpful in recommending a couple of different plastic surgeons for me to see. And so I got to interview this plastic surgeon and see who fit best with me as well. Um, but to hear the other options, was so much more positive and gave such a better outlook to what my future could be versus you have cancer and this is so horrible. Um, learning what I could do better and what what could happen in the future was, was such a positive experience for me in, in making the cancer seem not so horrible. Um, and then meeting meeting with the different surgeons to find out who best fits with me was always a really great option too and, and made, again, the experience much more positive than such a negative experience with learning that you have cancer. So when you met with your general surgeon, did they give you that option? Did they tell you there were reconstructive options? Not really. It wasn't really something that was really discussed at all. In fact, um, I was you know, being so young at diagnosis, I was only 33 when I was diagnosed, and it was the cancer was only in the left in the left side. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to spend the rest of my life being lopsided or not looking the same and thinking, you know, I'm I'm young and single, and there's still so much more to do. I didn't want to have to think about how our clothes going to fit and. Um, so I automatically wanted to do a bilateral mastectomy, just do the double mastectomy and not have to think about ever going through this again. And um, he actually, the general surgeon actually did not recommend a bilateral mastectomy. He, he thought there's really no reason. But um, my oncologist was, was totally with me and completely supportive of my decision to take both breasts and it's the best decision I've ever made. Um, not just from the reconstructive side, but the thought of reoccurring cancer. And, um, you know, once, you, once you're diagnosed with cancer, you're now cancer prone. And it's not something I ever wanted to have to think about going through again. So the oncologist was the one that, that told you more about the reconstruction? Yes, it, that was the, the very beginning. And um, he gave me three names of different surgeons to research. Um, I did end up meeting with two out of the three and, and just found the match for me. It, it sounds like you had a lot of uh, positive uh, positiveness to your reconstruction efforts and your your cancer um, treatment itself because you are very proactive. What would you say to women who maybe are a little shyer and aren't quite sure about how the process works? How, how would you approach them and tell them, hey, there are other options out there besides just having mastectomy scars. Absolutely. Um, I, I did actually. A friend of mine was just diagnosed three weeks ago and um, I, I told her the same thing. I said meet with a plastic surgeon before you ever even talk with your general surgeon because there are alternatives and um, your plastic surgeon is going to have a different idea of what to even do with the mastectomy, how to close or or if you need radiation or not need radiation and so um, there's a different avenues for each person and for each treatment every treatment's going to be different and so with her treatment being different than my treatment I, I said go f go meet with a couple find the right surgeon for you and talk to the plastic surgeon first because they're going to know what's best for your future rather than just dealing with the cancer you cancer is so horrible you get that diagnosis you think what am I going to do next and you just want to get rid of it but then you got to think about the rest of your life too and how can you turn that into a positive aspect and so um, how I would approach telling anyone is meet with a plastic surgeon first and not just one meet with a couple to see who's right for you because 
personalities have to match and ideas have to match and you know your plan has to be proactive and has to match what you want to do and their ideas and and get get a good plan going before you ever even go through the mastectomy part that way you kind of see the finish line and the mastectomy is not so bad.